So before we begin the actual development, I just wanted to highlight that in order to get started with your LWC development, you will need two things to be set up in your on your computer. One, you have to install the Salesforce CLI, and second, you also have to like set up your Salesforce project. Here, you can see that we have to create this OTP verification scheme, which is a set of two things: the command generated one and LWC for you that you can find in the your project name then force app then there will be a new folder in this case uh, there are three commonly used fi generated files for a LWC that are Salesforce CLI generates are, are these LSA is LSA underscore generate otp.html which will contain the UI side of your or UI or appearance appearance side of your LWC. Some of the like common configurations include like where you don't where you want to showcase your LWC. So the first part here is first section we have the logo, then this heading is there, then some subtext, then there is some space, like input field, and there is a button. In case you don't remember uh, some of these things, some of these tags, you can always refer to the like Salesforce Lightning Component Library. Now, since you have already deployed it to the org, this time you will see the change. Which means you have initially created the component. As you, you might remember or you might recall during the introduction, I have explained that this meta.xml file for any component is a configuration file where you have to configure uh, the places at which you want to expose your uh, what I say LWC in in case uh, you want to know more about it then you can read about the topic design attributes in LWC or, or uh, like trailhead or maybe on an official Salesforce site in case you want a detailed video or a dedicated video on a like design tokens or design attributes in LWC then just comment down in the comment section and we will definitely pick a video on that topic as well. These are the attributes that is used to configure where you want to expose your what I say your LWC. As I had highlighted, if you want more detailed video on specific to these design attributes, do let us know in the comment. But now I don't have any specific fields to expose. So I'll keep that as so we are inside this meta XML where like, if you recall so this is our like meta.xml file mentioned that this meta.xml file for any LWC component is like basically used to define the configurations and you can also use this space to like to define where you want to expose your LWC this is the one that we had created LSA generate OTP in case you have configured your the like LWC component to appear or to be visible to the tabs uh, but you don't see your component name here I change it to 6 but as, as, I have, as I have informed you in the beginning of this development process that when you use uh, uh, styling well, when you use lighting like what I say layout your layout items should be of total of size 6 a uh, size 12 so in case you want to test like how my like the LWC component will appear in mobile Versus always when always you, you, you need to keep this in mind whether someone tells you or not when you design LWC it should always be designed with the mobile first approach where I have showcased you all the necessary steps in very detailed manner that you need to take to develop your LWC as part of this demo we just developed the user interface part of our first component that is generate OTP we wanted to keep it very basic for the new users or new developers who have little or very less understanding about the LWC development 